Diamond knows when there's trouble, they can call DW. Here's a look at the brand new Diamond Select Disney's Darkwing Duck PVC Diorama Statue. Villains beware, Cape Crime Fighter Darkwing Duck is on the job. With his loyal sidekick launch pad and a whole bunch of zany high-tech gadgets, Darkwing does his best to keep the city of St. Canard safe, and that's the easy part of his day. Darkwing must juggle the responsibilities of being a superhero and being a dad to nine-year-old Gosselin. This gallery diorama statue of Darkwing Duck is based on his appearance in the animated series Darkwing Duck. It features detailed sculpting and paint details and is made of high-quality PVC. It was designed by Barry Bradfield and sculpted by Varner Studios. Just before we talk a little bit more about Drake Mallard's alter ego, let me send a big thank you first to the folks over at Diamond Select that did provide this sample of the Darkwing Duck gallery diorama statue that we could have a look at. I love Darkwing Duck, and the idea that Darkwing Duck is being helmed by one of the better companies out there producing statues and figures, super excited to see what Diamond Select has in store for us Darkwing Duck fans. Darkwing Duck, though, stands from a statue standpoint about 10 and a half inches in height, or the statue is going to be about 26 and a half centimeters tall. Now, one thing they have done with the statue is you can have the statue displayed as you see right now. What you can also do, though, is if you flip the statue around to the back, you'll notice two hanging hooks where you can mount this on the wall. My concern always is the case when you're hanging this on the wall, though it's going to be a little bit more stable than the example of the, the Green Goblin that we looked at in an earlier review. This, I don't worry so much about the stability of having this hanging. The thing about it, though, is while it's hanging as it is, there's nothing really underneath it to evoke the idea that there's a continued building below it. You still get the top of the building, and for what the building is, it's a nice representation of what we would see in St. Canard. I do like the way they've actually molded this in sort of more of a dark beige color brushing the ever crucial parts in sort of a darker gray just to fill some of the recessed sections in there are a few little areas i'll point out right here where you can see some screw holes uh, the screw holes are likely there just to take the top half of this and mount it to the bottom half of the base uh, i wish they had found a way to cover this but honestly from where you're going to be seeing the statue anyways you'd never really be any the wiser that there are even screw holes there in the first place other than just me of course pointing it out to you you may also see something that looks to be like a translucent hammer this is actually there more as a supporting strut to hold really the greater weight of the, the cape that he has blowing in front of him. This is something I th I'm glad to see that they actually did, because especially even with PVC, resin would be definitely a no-no, but PVC plastic, there's still a lot of stress that would happen with so much weight of the plastic being forward like this, that adding just a little bit of a clear acrylic strut like this helps to stabilize and hold the weight of the cape. This whole time, of course, we're talking about the base itself. Getting a closer look at Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck looks fantastic, and I don't think he's ever looked this good. He has sort of a scowled look as he's looking down on the city streets of St. Canard. If you can see, he's got carried around with him as gas capsule gun. Nicely painted here. It's mostly appearing to be molded here in black plastic. But then they've added the little coilings here in a darker pink. A little darker indentations there of purple. A really nice little gas capsule gun that he has. Now, one thing also I really like about the figure is the way they've also got the, the hat sculpted. So it sort of has a low rim to the front of it. They've darkened the area inside of it to give the idea that there's a little bit of shadowing. The sculpting on the face, though, like I said, is fantastic. There is apparently talks that Diamond Select is going to be doing a figure release. Now, we've already seen already a Darkwing Duck and I think Nega Duck pack, two pack. Definitely excited for that. Darkwing Duck, yes, like I said, has always been one of my favorite cartoons of Disney. It was always one that I had to watch every afternoon. The one thing I also really like about the statue, too, is that the way they've painted is nicely done. Although, there is one little area here I can't help but notice. The section that he has his arm out like this almost appears like this is a separate piece that they would have attached onto the side of his torso. By You can see that there's a little bit what almost seems to be a little bit of glue left behind there. Again, I don't know if they've actually would have taken the whole arm and just mounted it onto the side of his body. If that is the case, yeah, there's a little bit of glue, at least I've noticed here on mine. The other thing I will say, though, is while I do really like the idea that he's perched on the end of a rooftop like this, I don't know if I love really the idea that they've given him like a pointed base on the back of the building. I'm assuming that this is just like the very top of a building, but I feel like... Something about the spike just isn't selling it for me. If, if anything, I probably would have just flattened this off across. 
But I know uh, St. Canard obviously has some really interesting uh, architecture to it. And some of this obviously is represented here in the statue. Again, I don't know if I love the idea of having a big point sticking out the top like this, but at least one thing would say, I mean, obviously the base itself, there's some interesting stuff to look at. It simply isn't just, I mean, obviously they could have just done a flat top to this and just left this off completely. But then Darkwing Duck would look just a little void, the fact that he's just looking off the side of the rooftop without really having anything behind it. The statue as a whole, though, like I said, is really nicely done. I'm not sure, though, the idea of actually hanging this on the wall is something I'm going to see myself doing. But I do appreciate at least the fact that they put it on there. It does mean, though, that you really wouldn't be able to see it from the back, because obviously if you're seeing it from the back, you'd only then really notice the fact that there's hanging hooks on the back of it. But it is nicely painted for what it is. It's a really nice looking statue, and I'm glad to see as, as well that they did add that little clear strut. It does, yes, unfortunately mean that when you're looking at it from the front, that the strut is very visibly apparent or transparent as it is, but at least they did actually put that in there to support the weight of the cape. It's a smart touch on Diamond's part to give us a really nice looking Darkwing Duck. Again, my only few little quips about the statue, a little bit of glue residue I saw around the armpit area. Uh, but again, like I really like the way that this one turned out. Now, like I said, Diamond Select is planning to do a bunch of Diamond uh, Darkwing Duck stuff. Really super excited for that, being a big fan of Darkwing Duck. I hope at the very least, now we are getting, of course, that Darkwing Duck, I think Nega Duck 2-pack. I hope that they're also going to be running with the re remaining villains. I'd love to see like Liquidator, Quacker Jack, some of the cooler villains that made up the rogues gallery of Darkwing Duck make appearances as figures. If it's if it's any constellation to what we've gotten before with Diamond Select with all the statues and all the figures that they've done in the past, I think Darkwing Duck is in rather good hands. Other than the obvious Playmates toys, of course, having the licensing in the first place, every other company that's had it since hasn't really done anything with it. Any company, I can think of QMX, Beast Kingdom, and even Funko, when they have had Darkwing Duck, if anything, they've only ever just released Darkwing on his own, or they've released a slight variation of him, and that's it. Now that we've got a company like Diamond Select helming the licensing of Darkwing Duck, I hope they're actually going to be doing something with it. If we can look, at, of course, to the stuff they've done in the past, like even Ghostbusters, look how many figures we got for Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, they are still like the top company when it came to actually doing Ghostbuster figures because they covered everything, mostly everything, even including the real Ghostbusters. So I hope the same love is going to go towards Darkwing Duck, that we are going to be getting some of the villains, if all the villains, and maybe some of those vehicles that can go along with the characters as well. If again, looking at this as just the statue being the starting point, I think, again, we've got ourselves, we're in good hands when it comes to Diamond running with Darkwing Duck. But what do you guys think of the statue? Let me know down below in the comments section. Did you also love Darkwing Duck growing up? Let me know down below. Big thank you. Big thank you once again to the folks over at Diamond Select that did provide the sample of the Disney's Darkwing Duck Gallery Diorama statue. If you guys did enjoy this video, I want to throw it a like. If you guys are loving the content you guys are seeing and you would like to stick around for more, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and you're turning on the bell notification. We are going to be having some more Diamond Select reviews coming your way, some more statue reviews also coming your way. But if you need to get your fix in the meantime, popping up at the very end of this video will be a playlist covering off not only the territory of Diamond Select, but also covering as well all the stuff I've looked at for statues. Feel free to give those a gander if you have a little bit of time on your hands. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.